Hello everybody, this is Ashley Rianne and we're here today to do a back mobility sequence for dancers and for non-dancers alike. We're going to be working on some nice fluid transitions and sequences to really increase the flexibility and the mobility of the spine. So let's just get nice and warmed up by coming into a very gentle shell stretch or a child's pose. So just open those knees nice and wide, we can reach those arms forward. You can rest your forehead on the mat if you like, or if you want to have a block or another prop underneath your forehead, just to let the neck relax, please feel free to do so. In this position, we're going to really take some nice deep breaths in, focusing on breathing on those back ribs, side ribs, and those front ribs. And let's just take a nice deep breath in. And on the exhale, let's just tip those sit bones a little bit closer towards those heels, gently pulling the pubic bone up towards the rib cage, just creating a little bit more tilt in the pelvis, which is gonna create a bit more of a rounded upper spine here. If you wanna stack your hands and just pop them underneath your forehead for some additional neck support, please feel free to do so. We're gonna hold it here, keeping that really nice rounded backbone, rounded spine. And let's come back into a little bit of extension by walking those arms out a little further. Now let's walk our hands over towards the left. We're gonna stack our right hand on top of the left, grounding down to that right sit bone, feeling that length from the fingertips all the way to that sit bone on the right side. And let's make this a little bit more active by drawing the left ribs towards the left hip bone. We're getting a beautiful side stretch here, a nice lateral side bend. Breathing as we press that right hand gently into the left and exhale so you can go a little deeper. Lovely. And now let's switch sides. We're going to walk our hands over towards the right. Stack that left hand on top of the right, grounding down that left sit bone, elongating that left side of the body as we draw the right rib cage towards the right hip bone, holding it here, breathing feeling that nice lengthening on that left side, that contraction on the right. And let's bring our hands right in front of our knees. Take a nice deep breath in. And on the exhale, we're gonna start to stack the bones, draw the sit bones towards the heel, stack the pelvis, each vertebra, the shoulders, the neck, and the head. Well done. We're gonna come onto all fours into our moving cat and cow, so make sure that those wrists are aligned underneath the shoulders, knees are underneath the hips, and the feet are flat on the ground. We're gonna inhale and sit our weight towards those heels, feeling a nice little flexion in that spine, and on the exhale, moving that forward, shifting towards the wrists. We're gonna do this a few times here, just really focusing on that pelvic floor, feeling those sit bones widen as you send those hips towards those heels, and on the exhale, drawing the pelvic floor up and in towards the rib cage. Beautiful. We're gonna keep that rounded spine in that upward cat position as we shift the weight towards those hands. And then again, focusing on that flexion of the spine as we sit back. So it's a really nice helpful cue here to really think about drawing the belly button away from your t-shirt, really closing the space between those ribs and those hips and that scapula line is opening to the side, almost wrapping around the sides of your body, trying to keep nice and rounded. Let's come into a little combo here. So when you're ready, let's sit back, send those hips towards those heels. We'll keep rounding through that upper spine as we shift that weight forward, keeping that nice flexion in the back as we sit back. And here, let's extend that spine, working into that cow. Nice little curl as we sit back, keeping that spinal flexion as we shift that weight forward. Coming back and let's draw the shoulder blades down the back, keeping that nice extended spine as we move forward. And when you're ready, let's come on to all fours. We're gonna reset the spine by just doing some static cat and cow. So just get everything all lined up. And on our inhale, we're gonna slightly flare those sit bones to the back wall, extend the spine, looking all the way up. And on the exhale, spreading the scapula, drawing those ribs towards those hip bones, trying to increase that nice spinal flexion. And on the inhale, again, that slight little flare of those sit bones. A little bit of a lift of that tailbone and exhale, draw the belly button in. 
Lovely. We're going to do this a few more times to just make any adjustments that you have to to make sure that your back is nice and comfortable. And again, just focusing on that nice fluid movement between the extension and that flexion. We're going to come into one of my most favorite back mobility sequences, and I call this stir the pot. So we're going to start by sitting those hips over towards the right heel, coming right through center, trying to extend that spine, drop those hips over towards the left, and then we're going to round through center to circle over and up. So we want to focus on those hips and the torso making a really nice big circle as we move our weight over our legs and then right over our knees as we come through center. So really focusing on that upward flexion of that spine. Always wanting to stay connected with the hands, feeling that nice reach through the hips and through the sides of the body. And let's reverse. Let's reach those hips over towards the left heel. Extend that spine through the center as we shift our weight over the right heel and rounding all the way up and over to come back over towards the left. Again, staying really connected with the hands, feeling that beautiful circular movement through the backbone, through the pelvis. And let's just stay here on all fours. Let's just make any adjustments. We're gonna come into our tail wag. So on our inhale, we're gonna draw our left rib cage towards our left hips, coming into a side bend and exhale right through center. Inhale, we're gonna draw the right rib cage towards the right hips and exhale through center. So we're gonna focus here on keeping those waistlines drawing in towards the midline as we try to shorten that distance between the rib cage and the hip bone on each side. This is a really beautiful, concentrated movement, a really great way to work on that mobility of both the rib cage and the hips, which is super important for dancers, but also just for everybody in general. Moving with the breath at all times. And let's just release through the wrists. There's been a lot of pressure placed on it, so we need to shake them out. Please feel free. We're going to come into some rotation. So let's have our left hand behind our head. We're gonna take a nice deep breath in. And when you're ready, we're gonna open the left ribs towards the side. We're gonna keep the shoulder blade down and we're gonna look right underneath that left elbow. Inhale to bring the shoulders and the chest to face the floor and on the exhale again starting with that rotation of the rib cage first and our eyes are going to follow that elbow we always want to use our eyes and pilates to get a little bit more of that neuromuscular connection and let's rotate and from here we're going to stretch that left arm up and we're going to come into a nice spinal twist thread the needle let's drop that left shoulder we're gonna try to tilt that right rib cage up towards the ceiling as we stretch that left arm through. And again, hand comes to the back of the head. We're gonna open that arm nice and long towards the ceiling, start to twist through that torso, drop that left shoulder and reach that left arm underneath the right arm. Beautiful, and we're gonna do this one more time. Inhale to open, stretch that arm. And let's start by twisting through that torso. And let's come into a nice settled twist position here. So keep this nice and active by thinking about drawing that left rib cage over towards the right side as we shine that right rib cage up towards the ceiling. Holding it here, breathing, and let's come back to center. I'm just gonna change sides so that you can see what I'm doing, but we're gonna come over to the right side now. So let's just get everything all lined up. Feet are nice and flat. And let's have the right hand on the back of the head, shoulder blade is down. Leading with that right rib cage, inhale to keep looking underneath that elbow and exhale, draw everything back to center. Inhale to open that right rib cage towards the side and exhale using your abdominals to help pull that chest and that torso back to that starting position. 
lovely last time before we go into our thread the needle. When you're ready, let's twist, let's spread that arm nice and long. Let's twist that rib cage as we dive that right arm underneath that left arm, drop that right shoulder. Inhale to return and to twist. And on that exhale, we spread that arm, dive it under and through. Trying to reach a little bit further each time and let's come to that nice last time. Open that rib cage, open that hand and let's dive it through and let's get nice and comfortable here. Keep that beautiful twist happening in the rib cage. Keep reaching that arm forward. And let's transition out of there and come and lie on our stomachs. So we're gonna have our legs about mat width apart and we wanna draw those inner thighs in towards each other, which is gonna do a little bit of internal rotation and it's gonna externally rotate the lower legs. We're gonna slide the kneecaps up the legs to keep the legs nice and active. Press the pubic bone down into the mat, pull the belly button in away from the floor. The bottom ribs are connected to the floor. Scapula is down the back and we're just gonna have our arms bent just down by our sides with the hands just slightly in front of the shoulders and we have our forehead on the mat. We're gonna inhale to prepare and on the exhale, we're gonna slide the chest forward and up. We wanna th almost think about making a bow-like movement with the upper body. The arms are gonna float. We're gonna inhale to stay and on the exhale, we're gonna reverse that movement and gently draw the ribs down towards the hips. Inhale to prepare, and on the exhale, it's like you're pushing a penny with your nose down across the floor, which is gonna cause that frontward movement of that chest and torso. We're looking just ahead of the mat, we're inhaling to stay, and exhale, drawing those ribs gently towards those hips to activate the abdominals. If this is too much for your neck to be on the floor, you can have a very small pillow or a yoga block just to support that head to keep that neck in alignment. Let's have those hands come right to the forehead here. We're gonna inhale to prepare and on the exhale, we're gonna side bend to the right. So again, drawing the right ribs towards those hips. Inhale through center and exhale, drawing those left ribs towards those hips. We wanna make sure here that we're not adding any rotation. We're keeping our chest and our eyes looking at the floor the entire time. Let's do one more side bend to the left, come back through center and let's float those legs up. So we have to really engage those hamstrings. Now this is a level two progression. So if you would prefer to have your legs on the floor, making sure that they're nice and active, please feel free. But if you want a little bit more of a progression, this is a great place to work. So always focusing on sliding those kneecaps up the legs to keep the front of the legs nice and strong. We're really using the bottom glutes, those hamstrings, to hold those legs up and keep length through those legs. Let's finish on that left side and let's just come and lie back down. Forehead on the mat, legs coming down. Breathing here. And let's just come and reset everything. We're gonna open the arms slightly away from the body and we're gonna keep that internal rotation of the legs. Inhale to prepare and on the exhale, let's float those legs and the upper body off of the floor. We're gonna come into our Superman. Inhale to stretch those arms nice and long and on the exhale, draw the elbows towards the hips, shine the chest forward, focusing on that nice scapular retraction on the back. Inhale to stretch, exhale to draw those elbows in towards the hips. We're gonna keep this nice fluid movement here, always looking at the floor when we're in that extended position with those arms out straight and our chest is gonna lower a little bit closer towards the floor as we draw those elbows in towards our side, trying to focus on shining that breastbone forward and slightly up to get a little bit more lift in the upper body, keeping the pubic bone pressing down and the belly button scooping away from that floor.
and let's hold it nice and low and let's just work on that scapular body by drawing the elbows in and straightening. We're going to do this a few more times, just building up a little bit of heat in that back body. Keep those legs lifted and internally rotated. And last time, let's press back into that nice shell stretch. Just relieving any pressure in the back. Breathing here. And let's round up. And we're gonna come and lie back on our stomachs again. So get, get our legs lined up, the internal rotation, those knees are sliding up the leg, pubic bone down, belly button in, bottom ribs are connected, and let's extend those arms right above the head, but let's draw the shoulder blades down the back to set. We're gonna inhale to prepare, and on the exhale, we're gonna float the right arm and left leg up. Inhale to return to the floor, and on the exhale, we're gonna lift the left arm and right leg. So as we lift those limbs up, our upper body is gonna slightly lift to allow our head to rise off the floor and moving back down. This is the swimming prep, which is a super great exercise for stability, for working the core, for working the back line of the body. And again, right arm, left leg. And let's get the left arm, right leg to join. We're gonna stay in that extended position off the floor and we're gonna move each of those sides one at a time, coming up a little bit higher on that inhale, exhale to lower down. Thinking about trying to stretch the fingertips away from those toes, keep those ribs knitted together, and here we go into our nice gentle flutter for our swimming. Feeling the nice extension through the legs and let's go. Up and down, here we go. Trying to keep the body from rocking. Keep stretching through the fingertips, stretching through those legs and those toes. Pulling the belly button in and let's come down. We're gonna press back into a nice shell stretch. And let's do a quick little reset. Let's walk our hands over towards the left. We're gonna stack the right hand on top of the left, applying a little bit of pressure in that right hand, just to really open up through that right side, breathing here. And let's walk over towards the right. Let's stack the left hand on top, again, applying a little bit of pressure to open up through that left side body. Really surrendering with the breath, really enjoying this fluid movement. Good, and let's roll up by stacking the pelvis, the back, the neck, and the head. And let's transition to a cross-legged position, feeling both sit bones connect to the floor. We're gonna have our left hand down by the side. Take a nice deep breath in with that right arm, drop that shoulder blade down. And on the exhale, we're gonna close those ribs towards those hips as we come into a nice mermaid side bend here. Trying to keep length, inhale through center, drop that hand and we're gonna lengthen the left arm up and exhale, we're gonna close those right ribs to hips. Again, trying to draw the shoulder blade down so that there's space between our ear and our shoulder. Inhale through center and exhale, let's switch sides and exhale, coming into that left side bend. A nice option here is if you wanna have the hand on the back of the head, instead of having that arm nice and extended, sometimes that's a lot of pressure on people's shoulders. So just find the modification that works best for you. And let's come and sit up. Let's have our hands on our knees. We're gonna do a little bit of some extension and some flexion. So inhale, we're gonna slightly shift forward. We're gonna come out of those hips. We shine the chest forward. If it feels comfortable for you to drop your head to extend the neck on the inhale. And on the exhale, we're gonna sit behind those sit bones, scoop through that pelvis, draw those ribs towards hips. Inhale, let's draw forward. We're gonna draw, shine that chest forward and up, drop that head. And on the exhale, use the abdominals to scoop, sit behind those sit bones, really pressing into that back body, feeling that nice extension of the scapula. Inhale, 
coming all the way up, trying to grow out of those hips. And on the exhale, let's scoop through the front body to sit behind those sit bones, lovely. Let's take a nice deep breath in on the exhale. Let's bring our right hand over to our left knee and look over that left shoulder. Inhale through center and exhale. Let's switch sides. The left hand's gonna come to the right knee as we twist over that right shoulder. And let's just do a nice final twist over the right. And let's come right back through center. Thank you so much. I hope your back feels great. Thank you for joining me again. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Please feel free to like, subscribe, and comment below. And thank you so much for watching. See you soon.